The traders that were affected by the lockdown say they are being told to pay certain fees by the company that built the market and that their shops were closed without any warning whatsoever, which they protest as unfair. They point out that no meetings were held and the alleged debts the Rusi's Investment Corporation Limited is claiming to be owed were never discussed. But the company's executives have dismissed this, saying the terms and conditions signed between Rick and the traders are very clear and that the traders have outstanding areas in their rent that can no longer be ignored. This was in no way unexpected because they knew about this. We have a permanent employee working in the market with an office and they talk on a daily basis. The traders have their own committees that they established and most have areas of two to three months, not all but most. Basing on our agreements with them, we will begin reopening their shops on an individual basis depending on how committed each of them is to paying their areas and committing to a time frame on how it will be done. We are willing to work with them but they too must recognize that they fail to honor their end of their deal and they have signed contracts with us. They should have come to us if they were having problems paying, not wait for their shops to be closed. The four-storied modern market in Rusizi was completed at a cost of more than 1.6 billion Rondon francs and has been in operation since February last year with more than 500 traders working in it.